All right. Last lecture, we already learned uh, uh, Jupyter 3 built in um, reserve, parameter reserver. In this lecture, uh, we will uh, experiment or customer our ourself uh, parameter reserver um, and uh, experiment a very funny um, um, functions uh, similar to the data provided, but is that is the random way. Okay, here we go. First, we need to create uh, um, interface, uh, the data provider, um, name the date, okay. And this interface the only code is the um, simple message will retain the data. You get value. All right. Also, we can uh, create the default uh, experiment right here and the class uh, default date experiment date. All right. And uh, we need to create a annotation named the date provider choice annotation top. All right. <clears throat> this annotation will be target and only allowed to top a um, assert, sorry, assert and uh, rotation, rotation police is the run time. Let's see nine. Okay. Divide the string surname value at default is the uh, okay that's fine <clears throat> and also we will um, close this first and uh, experiment the get value method <coughs> before before that uh, we need to we need to um, define the extension call test top that will be used to get the get the data from from the annotation data provider. Okay. Provide final extension um, content content. Okay. This tab and passed into constructor parameter. All right. Keep it here. And then we will uh, write the ourself um, parameter reserver named data provider. Create new class named uh, date data provider <coughs> reserver. All right, and uh, experiment parameter. Um, reserver, uh, choice this one. Okay, provided by Jupyter API. And uh, experiment two method. As you can see, actually, in this interface, code is two methods. So the first uh, is the uh, return board tab used to verify um, this method um, support or not support. Um, car we, 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 we defined the parameter reserver tab, okay. And uh, we wanted to uh, use the uh, uh, use, uh, extension contact, get the required, get the our test master name that is the required test master, okay. And uh, is annotated uh, by, by which one? By, we defined the data, pro data Provider annotation. If if the test assert annotated by data provider, that means support um, support. Sorry, date. We we we, we can pass the date tab into the test assert. Okay, uh, this uh, but this support parameter is the only used to verify or check. Return directly. 
And here you can see the return the object. Uh, this this way is used to verify support or not support. This method is used to pass into our um, test method arguments or parameter. All right, let's, let's return new um, default date. Default date with default, and uh, as you can see, default date. Okay, we passed as a extension context, right? Into inside this, the default can be okay. From this, uh, inside this source code, we need to uh, write some uh, more, seems more um, complex uh, uh, logic and uh, we can use the context uh, to get the required method, right? First, this is the method, test method named. And uh, we use the test method, get the declared annotation. Uh, we annotate by the data provider, right? Data provider, the class, yes. All right, this is a date provider. Okay, and uh, and we will um, invoke the date provider value value method to get the array array of data. Right, that is a data uh, array. Okay. And uh, if date array length is uh, equals zero, that means that we not uh, set any data into this annotation. We will return empty. Else, uh, we will return the random um, um, index and uh, come fr uh, from the date array. Okay. So data and then we use the thread thread local random as you can see random current thread okay and next is a data array length all right uh, we already uh, completed the uh, <clears throat> our um, default data explanation okay uh, we need to write a new test class for verifies so our per, our customer parameter reserve uh, can work fine. As uh, uh, let me and uh, I'll copy this test. Okay, and uh, we write the simple um, test method. Would uh, just a simple test. Okay. We can pass the no. We can pass the the date type with the fight. Okay, data. This is the data. Let's print print out to console data. Get the value, right? Where does the data come from? We can divide it to um, data provided. Okay, and here we can give some street values or street data, street data type hello world and uh, Java and uh, JUnit and uh, Jupyter. Okay, let's annotate the bar test, all right? But the most important thing is don't forget um, reject our parameter reserver, all right? How to, how to reject? We can use the extends with to reject. 
dot class. Okay, execution of this test class. As uh, as you can see, the uh, uh, we uh, print the uh, Java. If you wanted to re repeat to uh, print, we can use the repetition test annotated by oh sorry, repetition uh, file or ten anyway. Um, by this test method. Okay, execution. Okay, all right. And you can see, we print uh, this test uh, case execution uh, ten times, and uh, every every time the value is uh, different, but come from the data source. Uh, we define as the data provider, right? But uh, if you wanted to use the data provider parameter reserver, we and we, we define we use should to. Uh, and uh, the annotation extend width, but sometimes maybe you will forget to um, forget to annotate by this. Uh, the, it, it's another better approach to annotate this to. Okay, sorry. Uh, annot to here, you can annotate to here directly. That were uh, you were uh, don't don't mind to forget that. Okay, execution. Okay. All right, pretty cool. Uh, okay, so far so we completed the customer our um, parameter reserver. I think that will be helpful uh, for you to understand uh, how to uh, explement the Jupyter extension and uh, explement the uh, data pro, um, parameter Reserver. Actually, uh, if you uh, interested in uh, some the existing uh, built-in Jupyter, you can think, check the source code. Uh, it's really similar. We default in this class. Okay. All right. Explain to the parameter. As you can see, the parameter get type is the test info class, right? And here is the uh, create the default test info, right? As the default test info, you can see, it's a, it's, it's a pretty simple, right? Use the extension content. Okay, see you next lecture.